Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am starting off today with no makeup on. I have something really, really fun planned. I am hoping that it turns out as the way I have it kind of pictured in my mind. So today I'm gonna to be doing a Halloween makeup tutorial, which I don't think I've done a Halloween look in quite a while. I usually don't really tend to do them. I love, love, love seeing everyone's Halloween looks and how creative everyone gets around this time, but I tend to kind of just stay away from it and let everyone else kind of take the reins. But today I really wanted to do something and that is the Joker, but I want to do it as a glam Joker. So I'm really excited to do it. I think it's going to be so much fun. It's still going to look like the Joker, but just a little more glam, maybe a little bit of rhinestones and sparkle. So if you want to stick around to see how I create my glam Joker, then just keep on watching. So I'm not going to be using face paint. I'm going to be using all makeup products and things that you probably have at home. So I'm going to first go into the Benefit Professional Primer. And I'm just gonna concentrate that around my T-zone. So because we are going for a more glam joker, I'm actually not gonna paint my face white. I'm actually just gonna use a really pale foundation and I'm gonna go into this CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the shade L10 Fair Porcelain. And I'm just gonna apply this all over my face using my Sigma Round Kabuki F82 brush. Now for concealer, I'm going to go into the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Sand. If you have fair, use fair, but I'm just going to conceal underneath my eyes using this shade. And then I'm going to buff that in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. And now I'm going to go into the RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm going to set underneath my eyes. And then the rest of my face. So I just lightly contoured the sides of my nose just to make it look a little slimmer just because I like to do that. But my camera turned off when I did that. I just applied the contour to the sides, buffed it out, and then that was it. So now for my cheeks, I'm going to go into the Sigma Sculpt Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm going to pick up the coolest shade, which is Faking It. And I'm going to run that through my cheeks using my Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush. I'm also going to take that contour shade and run that through my crease using my Sigma Diffuse Crease E38 brush. And now I'm going to highlight, and because I'm pale, I wanted to choose a highlight that is a little bit lighter and not super intense. It's still just going to give me that glow from within look and nice and glam because a highlight always glams you up. So I'm going to go into this Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. I love, love, love this highlight. And I'm going to apply that with my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03 brush. So now for my brows, I'm not going to bring the brows up here because I am kind of doing it glam style so I'm gonna keep my brows where they are I also won't have room to do the whole thing over here <laughs> with the brows up here like no so I'm gonna go into this Ofra long lasting liquid lipstick in Brickell and that's what I'm gonna use to fill in my brows and hopefully this works out and I'm gonna use an angled brush this is from Tarte and it has a spoolie on one side and an angled brush on the other side Okay, so I did this side off camera to make sure that I could do it. So now let me show you guys how I do it on this side. So I'm going to go into this Milk Makeup Eye Pigment in the shade Sesh. It is such a beautiful shade. So don't forget, we're doing this glam. So I'm going to make it nice and sparkly, maybe add some rhinestones. So I'm excited. <laughs> now with my Smashbox Buildable Concealer Brush, I'm going to start creating the triangle shape above my brow. And then I'm just going to take a rounded stiff brush and this is the Sigma Precision Round P82 brush and start lightly blending the edges. I still want it to be defined but kind of just blend it out just so it's not super super neat. And then I'm going to create that underneath my eye and kind of make it drop down a little bit further and make a little tear shape. So with my Sigma EO6 Wing Liner Brush, I just created the teardrop shape and then filled in the rest. And now again, 
It's really difficult to do this without being really close up to the mirror. I'm just gonna start lightly buffing out the edges. So now over top of this pigment, I'm going to the BH Color Festival palette and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here, which is denim. And with my Sigma E54 medium sweeper brush, I'm gonna start packing on the shadow over top of the pigment. And then you can blend out the edges as well. So now let's make this joker glam. So I'm gonna start adding some sparkle and I'm going to the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Gamma Ray. And I'm just gonna brush that on first. And then tap that in to distribute the glitter around. I'm gonna line my waterline with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Chaos. I'm now gonna start adding some rhinestones randomly and I'm first gonna start under my right eye and I'm gonna start dotting on some of the Tarte Tardis Pro Lash Adhesive. I'm now gonna just dot again a little bit more. And now I'm adding smaller blue rhinestones. Okay, I was gonna leave it just on this side, but I feel like I want it to be symmetrical. So we're gonna do it up here, not on the bottom. Or on the bottom. I don't know. I think, okay, I think I'm gonna stick with the top. <laughs> And then once again with the lash adhesive and then randomly just applying those smaller blue rhinestones. Now for my eyes, all I'm doing is just applying some false lashes. So I'm going to apply some mascara and today I'm going to be using these Salon Perfect Extension Seeker Lashes in 661. I love these lashes. They're dramatic but also really comfortable. So that is what I'm going to do and I'll be right back and then we'll finish off the lips. My lashes are on <laughs> and now I'm going to do my nose and then my lips and I'm going to use the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Brickell for both of those. I'm first going to outline the shape with my Sigma EO 6 Wing Liner Brush. And then just using the wand to the lipstick, I'm going to fill that in. Now taking the Sigma E34 Domed Utility Brush, I'm just lightly going around the edges to kind of imperfect them. We are glam, but we are still the Joker. <laughs> I'm now going to apply my lipstick and I am going to overline them a bit, but I'm not going to go too intense and too large like the actual Joker. I'm now gonna create the corners of my mouth and I'm not gonna extend it too far out and too thick, just a little bit. Now I'm gonna try to Find some kind of outfit that I can put together. It's not going to be the same, not the exact same, because I wasn't prepared. I wasn't actually planning on doing a Halloween look. So today was very spontaneous. So I'm going to try to get something together to kind of look like the Joker, and I'll be back to show you the finished look. I am obsessed, obsessed with how the look turned out. I am going to try maybe to insert a clip of my outfit because <laughs> you would all literally be on the floor right now if you would see my outfit. You'd be dying, laughing, peeing yourself because I was as I was getting dressed. I have a dress on, a crop top tie up top, and a cardigan <laughs> and leggings. <laughs> So I really quickly want to mention how I did my hair because I'm upset I actually didn't show you guys as I was getting dressed, I ended up doing my hair and forgot to film it. So 
I've been here for a while. I've been filming for a while, so my mind's all over the place. But I basically just wet my hands and ran my wet hands through my hair to push everything back. And then I sprayed a lot of hairspray on my hair. And then I took the green from the Makeup Forever Flash Color Palette and I kind of scooped it out onto a palette and then used this sponge right here to just pick up the product and just brush that through my hair. It's not all over my hair, it's just through the front just for the sake of the video and photos and stuff like that. But if I would wear this look out on Halloween, I think I would buy either some kind of green hairspray or something from like Party City or one of those costume stores that you can just spray it and call it a day. Or you can get a wig, <laughs> which would be easier. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. I had so much fun creating it. And I also want to know what you guys are going to be for Halloween. I'm usually really stuck on what I want to be or dress up as. So let me know down in the comments so maybe I can get some ideas. <laughs> so if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, that'd be right here as well as down the description box and also a list of all the products that I use today will be listed down below for you guys to find everything easier. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. And I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.